Hi everybody, this is Katerina. Welcome to my Katya Beauty Style channel. And today I bring you again another the newest mug eyeshadow palette. It's $34, new packaging, new colors. Look at this beautiful, beautiful colors. We have here burgundy, we have brown, we have shimmer, we have matte. Of course, it's already on my eyes. I create a beautiful soft look. I will show you how to use this eyeshadow palette. Let me show you. It is $34. I believe it's already <clears throat> it's already available on Ulta.com but for some reason I saw one day and next day it's gone but this palette will be available at Nordstrom May 4. I will link product below and go to my Instagram. I also making a short video short where you can see um, what I do what it's video it's coming I always make a short video I've uploaded on my Instagram and then in one or two weeks of course you will see on YouTube let me show you these colors on my hand because they are beautiful and believe me or not I have only three colors on me yes this is I uh, look I create only with three colors girls if you like it give me thumbs up this video sorry subscribe my youtube channel go to my instagram kaya beauty style i don't work for any brand i'm teaching how i'm teaching everyone how to look beautiful flawless and if you have a sensitive skin if you have discoloration pigmentation this is a channel for you you will see me without makeup i do not have a perfect skin i'm so jealous who has a good skin i do not but i know how to make flawless me, my skin okay let's start you know i like to talk First step, let me put my hair together. You can see I don't have perfect skin. I, you know what, 44 is different when you're 30. I truly don't get it when it's like, we'll say, yeah, I'm 30 at 20 years old, like, oh, this moisturizer is Chanel or La Mer helping me. You know what, girls, in 20, 30, you already have good skin. <laughs> but. I have my skincare already on my skin and now we just need to make my skin flawless and I have pigmentation you can see discoloration first my step which one I'm gonna use I'm gonna use flawless filter from Charlotte Tilbury this is product will give me a nice beautiful glow because I'm a little bit more on a drier side and will even my skin This is it's my first primer. It's give me a glow. And then I have a this is it's a sample. It's good when you work it at Nordstrom. You can make samples for any products you want. And it's free. I'm gonna use Mac Studio Fix Modify 12 hour shine control primer. Again, this is sample. Um real products looks like this, and I believe it's $35. I have large pores. It's mud but like i it's like clear go but what i like it it truly truly make my pore invisible and i don't need to put an entire my face just on some area where i need i'm applying right here on my nose and on this area that's it I really like this primer. I need to buy my friend Erica, who, who is my manager. She introduced me to this product and I really, really like it. And then you know what? I really like to work with her. She has so much knowledge and Mark, she's helping me because it's hard to know all products, uh, all uh, um, what it does, uh, uh, texture-wise. She is like amazing Mac person. She know everything about Mac. And if you have 
any question about Mac, you can message me and I will make a video with Erica together who is a Mac manager at Nordstrom and we will answer all your questions. Now I'm gonna use my Bobbi Brown foundation brush and my favorite, this is my number one favorite foundation, it's double wear. It will give me nice coverage and will look amazing on my skin. On my skin I have double wear color 21N. It is full coverage foundation. It stay all day. And if you don't know, yeah, I see this commercial. They start using this foundation or this like most like 90% women who is in the camera using this foundation. Believe me not. Now I have a little bit beauty blender and right here I have a good skin, right here I have a good skin and I'm just a little bit absorbing my extra foundation. Now I'm gonna use concealer from MAC Pro Long Wearing. It's a full coverage concealer and it's number color NW20. Have my little brush, I apply concealer right here, it's in a corner, then right here on this corner and I actually will put my concealer right here, like letter V. Now I have my beauty blender and I'm just gonna little bit go all over and blend. And you can see how it looks very, very natural, very hydrated and bright under my eyes. It looks really bright, very pretty. My skin looks great, but a little bit pale. Now I'm gonna use a bronze from Chanel number pam, 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 390. It's Solar 10 Bronze Universal. I'm using Charlotte Tilbury brush and let's do the bronze. Applying a little bit, little bit higher, not all the way to the corner, a little bit higher and then close to my hairline. And I apply in circle emotion. Foundation, concealer, bronze, and now we're gonna use powder. Yes, this is its brand new powder from MAC. I highly, highly recommend this powder. It's beautiful. It has this blurring effect or HD effect. It looks very natural. It just makes your skin look so beautiful and minimize pores. I love, love this loose powder. And price point is $36. Of course, I will link all products below. And guys, if you like my transformation, please give me a thumbs up support me and i do want to say for your big big support for your love love you more than ice cream okay let's open this brand new baby yeah oh, i love this puff it's velvety but usually you know what i will probably use this puff for baking but uh, usually i like to use a big brush and look how it's open oh it's so pretty let's open this I got color light. Now it's time for me to use my favorite highlighter from from MAC. I own all three palettes. I can use this for the face. I can use this for the eyes. It's the best one. Highlighter is done and it's time to apply blush. For my blush, I'm gonna use color Mocha from MAC. Now I'm gonna charm my powder a little bit like this. I have a free clean beauty sponge and I'm just gonna a little bit apply underneath my bronze and blush. I want this beautiful clean look today. I'm truly in love with this powder. 
you can see it's powder ready it's not too too much and i'm gonna put a little bit on the center of my nose before this eyeshadow palette i'm gonna put primer from mac it's my favorite painterly and i'm just gonna feel a little bit my brows but not much i have a big brush and i'm just gonna remove a little bit now this powder it's enough i let sit like around maybe like 10 minutes but again you can see it's clean it's not too sharp it's not i will say aggressive it's just very beautiful and clean look my face it's done it is pretty beautiful glow on my face now i'm gonna use eyeshadow primer from my Penterly, it's my favorite uh, and i'm gonna apply with big brush actually from lancome it's foundation lancome brush it's an old brush and i'm gonna use a white pencil under my brow for extra lift my first color is gonna be this color it it's, it feels very creamy and it looks like a pearl with little bit gold this is it's a first color which one we are gonna use and I actually gonna apply on entire my eyelid Kind of buffing buffing i apply on the entire my eyelid but i'm not going close to my brow bone where i have my white pencil eyeshadow looks so pretty very natural if you don't want any extra work you can just put mascara and you're ready to go <laughs> but i'm gonna use my favorite small old brush from nurse and you know what let's go to use this color it's a matte color and i'm gonna use underneath and then i will go up is my middle color transition color i want my eye a little bit look bigger today Again, I apply underneath first and then I just go up and blend in like circle, circle emotion. Again, underneath and go up. This is it's a circle area. I apply above. Also, this is its matte color. Let me show you on my hands this color. I really, really like this color. Ooh, so pretty so far we have with you only two colors now i'm gonna use again small tiny brush it's my nurse old brush of course i have a listed product below and we're gonna use this beautiful burgundy red color this color it's matte and let me show you on my hand this is its color on my hand it's a little bit looks different on a hand than in a palette i apply in this darker color burgundy color in the corner of my eye and you can see all i do like a circle 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 and blending and i push in this product a little bit up close to my brows and it just like to a circle area i push in very very little same eyeshadow i'm gonna apply a little bit little bit underneath and connect Just like this, now I'm gonna use big brush and I just need to blend right here these edges. 
so far we have a three colors with you and i really really like it it looks natural it's giving me nice beautiful pop again we used to you we use this lighter color first then we use this color it's a matte color then we use this beautiful burgundy now i'm gonna use setting mist and then with my finger i'm gonna use this color it's actually it's right here it's a little bit deeper darker color which one we use all over but this is so far colors we use on me today I have small tiny brush I'm gonna use this lighter color and I'm just gonna apply a little bit little bit right here in the corner now i'm gonna curl my lashes with the laura mercier lash curler then i'm gonna use brown eyeliner between my lashes and then i'm gonna use liquid eyeliner from stila i'm using lancome chocolate brown eyeliner it's a matte color and i'm just applying between my lashes and now i'm gonna use steel eyeliner waterproof it's i believe intense light the right something like this really really like this uh, liquid eyeliner it's it's like a green gray color okay let's put liquid eyeliner and how i apply just very very close to my lash line i'm just press 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 eyeliner make a huge difference you can look at one my eye and another okay let me put eyeliner on another eye and then we're gonna use primer mascara and we will finish this look with some beautiful lip color my makeup looks so soft very natural this is what i like i like to look in my 40s look like 30s okay i'm gonna use primer from lancome it's my favorite everybody must have and then i'm gonna use mascara from from mac we're gonna apply it on top and in the bottom feel like i want an extra pop i'm gonna use my B favorite right now eyeliner it's like nude color i bought in a dollar store and we're gonna put on the center of my waterline just like this it's gonna little bit give me pop a little bit more sexy bring my eyes this pencil okay yes i bought this in dollar store okay let's finish this look with so beautiful lip color i'm gonna use christian dior lip liner number 100 and then i have something brand new from from my epson loran this is it's a lip balm and color together and my color this is it's a sample i love samples like this from nordstrom you can try all this color and decide which one you like or not i'm gonna use color 05 I actually just realized, sorry, I made mistake. My lip color from Christian Dior is number 223 Beige Lumiere. My makeup, it's done. I love this lip color. It's so beautiful and so my skin looks flawless, hydrated, such a beautiful eyeshadow palette. I think they did, Mac did amazing job with this palette. Again, we have uh, six colors here and this is colors will be look on anyone. If you like this video, please subscribe my YouTube channel, give me thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. And if you want to see me and Erica who is expert at my Nordstrom store. She's a Mac manager. If you have any questions, just send to me directly on Instagram and we will make a video and I will promise I will answer all your questions. Okay? Love you more than ice cream. Bye everybody.